Hello folks and welcome to the channel. I got another creation kit tutorial for you guys today, but first let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. If you like the following content, make sure to smash, smash that like button. And then go ahead and share it on your social media. When you share it on your social media, follow me on that frog app. Link is in the description. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. Click the notification bell for all. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below the video. And I'll get back to you because I read all my comments, guys. Those are all the free and easy things that you can do to help support the channel. If you want to support the channel directly, look down in the description, use the Ko-Fi link to do a one-time tip or join as a channel member, guys. All right, let's get into this. Roll that intro. Okay guys, uh, what I'm going to do in this series is I'm going to create a high poly head follower. Now I'm going to use my cast Cassandra preset that I used, that I made in my video about making presets here on the new channel. And this is going to be a high poly head tutorial and I'm going to try to cover everything from making the follower to making the follower a complete standalone. I'm going to try to cover all of it. Outfits, the whole nine yards. So first thing you got to do is you got to have your followers. So if you've are, if you, if you've are, if you're just making your preset or your follower in race menu, you can do that. If you've already got it made and you're of uh, character made say some character you enjoy playing and you want to make make them into a follower you can do it in game so I'm going to do it in game so I'm going to use my console here and I'm going to type in show race menu and it will come right to it now what I need to do is export her head so I'm going to go to the sculpt tab. I don't need to export a preset. I just need need the head. So this this uh preset is uh my Cassandra preset. Don't need this here. And you can see it's high poly. Uh it has high poly brows, uses chaos hair, and she's using something She's using the eyes from Eyes of Beauty, uh, female eyes 06. That's actually, I want to change that. So, I like the green eyes, but, okay, yeah, that that is uh, female eyes green fusion. What I'm going to need to do, though, just so I know that I have this stuff, I'm going to need to take some pictures. Not sure if that took that picture or not. That's sure. Now I need to need to know what brow I'm using, which is the brow 07. Yes, human 07. That there. And I'm going to need to know what her hair is. And I need to take a picture of this hair color because I need these values right here. So I'll take a picture of that. And I need to go back and I need to take a picture of her skin tone here because I need these values. And the reason I need to take pictures of them is because when I go into creation kit, you'll have to set these these sort of things in the in the kit to get it to look right. So that's all good. So I'm going to go to the sculpt tab. 
and I am going to export this head use either the F1 key or yeah I can use the F1 key or you just click on export head and I'm going to call this Cassandra follower HP01 it's like that push accept on that and that's good and now I'll take and you should name your character Cassandra so that's all taken care of now we'll move on to actually going and getting her head head and tech head mesh and textures and getting it separated out so we can use it all right guys what we need to do now like I said is to separate our head and text if you're using vortex it's probably in the data folder and in skse and you follow that whole uh path through until you get to the charge end folder i use mod organizer 2 so i want to open up my mod organizer 2 folder go to my skyrim folder go to overwrite skse plugins charge in and i'll find it in this folder here so i'm going to drop that for a second because i need to make a folder on my desktop and it's going to be my work folder so i'm going to make a new folder here and i'm going to call this new work folder cassandra cassandra follower work folder just like that and i need to open that up and i'll put that off there to the side and i need to go back to this charge on folder because i need to find this and this there's two files you need the dds file and the uh nif file so i'm going to take and i'm going to drag these over and copy these to the cassandra follower folder so that they're right here so that's good that's that's the first thing you got to do is have the face jet that'll come in handy later the next thing you want to do with this work folder is open up your screenshots folder wherever you store your screenshots for skyrim and these are all in my steam folder so i'm going to grab all of these and i'm going to just move these right over here that's done and what this is is this is all the pictures that i took that i'm going to need later i don't need that let's try that again shall we okay it's going to do that Fine. go back this way and this is all the pictures that i took for this here I don't need one of these which is I think this one yeah because it's not I will go ahead and delete that I don't need that so yeah these are the things these are the images that you need for the follower so you know what the assets are so that's a good thing all right we got that part done now in the next video i'm gonna go ahead and add these i'm gonna go ahead and start with the creation kit